Hello, my name is Hugo. I'm the Hugo behind the buyhugo.com uh, artist website, and I'm making this little video about the super duper saddle spring compressor that I've come up with for the Chandler and Price type of letterpress machines. Once you've taken the, the saddle spring off, you're faced with this incredible job of trying to get it back and you know, inserting the cotter pin. And uh, after after two or three tries, I've finally come up with a better tool than the tools that I've been seen referenced in the in the various places on the web so far. So I'd like to share that with you. And um, here it is, my little contribution. Um, how about we first see how it is working in practice, and then I'll come back and give you some close-ups. Here's a quick look at how I immobilized the saddle post with some 14 gauge electrical wire. Notice the nail in the lube oil hole there where I immobilized it, wound it around to make sure it doesn't slip off. So here I've got the spring stuck in as far as it will go. And uh, as I'm making my way into position, notice my gloves, some nice mechanic gloves on there, protect my hands. Spring is all greased up with luber plate and I'm stuffing it in Manually is, well, not manually, but holding on to it as best as I can, stuffing. Um, when I push it all the way in, there will still be six or eight inches sticking out. You can see it's getting tougher and tougher. Got a real firm hold on it. So now I work my one hand free to grab my tool. Tool is prepared. Shove it over the end. And uh, right now, pretty well right now, you can see my little finger there working underneath trying to get the nail out of the connecting piece. There it is. Nail falls out. Now I can take the end piece, the piece with the um, cap on it, and push the half inch piece through compressing the spring using the three quarter inch pipe as a guide. And there it is. And you see at the very end, poked all the way through. Now I'm grabbing my cutter pin, back off a little bit so I can see the hole, align my notches in there poke the cutter pane in and uh, at this point you know looks kind of dangerous in case the thing would fly off it would hit me in the eye but really I've got the cutter pin already in the one side so it can't let go anyway I'm just jiggling back and forth if you have presentive at this point you should be wearing safety glasses I think I will next time but there it is wasn't that hard so now you've seen how how it works in practice. Um, let me show you a close-up of what it is and the things that were happening sort of hidden behind uh, my clenched hands as I was furiously trying to hold on to the spring. So here are the two pieces held together with a nail. The thing you didn't notice, you didn't see, is that once I got the end of the spring in there and most of it contained on the on the post, I proceeded to turn this thing upside down so that I was trying to get the nail to fall out. So I was jiggling this pipe back and forth and I probably pushed on it a little bit to encourage this nail to, to drop out and then keep on with the pressure, keep on pushing until the full spring was on. This piece was on the saddle post. The spring was right up here. The spring sits up against the flat part of the, of the post and there I've got the notch, exposed the notch that I was working at to get the cutter pin back in. And there, 90 degrees to the notch is the holes that I drilled that keep the nail, help to, you know, make the nail go through these two holes and, and keep the two pieces together because the last thing you want to do is have this come apart <laughs> when, when you're pressing on the spring. So there you are. Hope you like it.